today's news, EXO staff member under fire for mocking Kai in Instagram post. Kai from EXO is in the news again, not because of something that he did, but because of someone who was working as a staff member at one of their concerts posted a photo on Instagram, did. That wasn't very good English. <laughs> Apparently the young lady who posted the photo posted it because she was working with merchandise that they were selling on behalf of EXO and Kai's merchandise didn't get sold as much as maybe some of the other members. She stacked the boxes into what looks like a pyramid. She stacked it into a tower. It wasn't actually a pyramid. She just stacked the boxes on top of each other and made a little tower out of the merchandise boxes. And wrote a little caption and made a little joke. And it was a joke. But the EXO fan club members did not see it as a joke and they started attacking her online and she has since removed her post and her No, I account. don't think she removed it. I think she made her account private. Okay, that's what she did. Or at least that's what's published in the article. What I was thinking when I saw this was even though EXO is one unified group and I don't mean to just point out EXO, but we are talking about them. Even within the group, there are nine members and so the competition which maybe isn't even verbally recognized, it just happens because we're human and it's natural. The competition is stiff, it's fierce, mm. at least according to the people who are watching them. So they might not even be trying to do anything in order to one up each other at all. They're just trying to be friends or friendly or get along, work as a team because they have so many different events they have to do all together. And there are nine members. And so when you have nine members, things come up and you have to try to work as a team. We've even made it lists with videos that include EXO and who sold the most magazine covers. We did that video not too long ago. Yes. Kai was not at the top of my memory serves me correctly. No. Even though we find ourselves talking about Kai more than some of the, I don't even know all the names of all the EXO members. But you did know Kai. What stood out to me was this girl is probably not a huge EXO fan. And the reason why I say that is she was working in the booths. If you're a huge EXO fan, you wanna be at the concert, listening to the music, watching the show. She's just working the show. And so she probably has mixed feelings about EXO themselves because she has to work the show. And anyone who works any sort of job always has mixed feelings from time to time. I also wonder if management of EXO, who does the hiring for the staff that does the selling of the merchandise, weeds out potential applicants by finding out how big of a fan they are of EXO. And if they're less of a fan, then they'll hire them. And if they're more of a fan, they're like, no, thank you. Who knows? I mean, just cause it's anti-logical, you'd think they'd want to hire all the biggest fans, but then there's, a slightly more potential for stealing merchandise if you're a super big fan. Or having some issue because you probably have some sort of backstage access and you don't want them attacking the group members. And on top of that, you and I have been backstage to concerts in Korea. We both know that the staff members for the people that are helping the idols get up on the stage and telling them when it's going to be their time to perform change all the time from venue to venue. Like the staff members working in Busan are different than the ones working in Daegu are different than the ones working in Seoul. And, and they're so not fangirling. <laughs> no, they're really busy. They're like, get out of my way. They got the headsets on and they got walkie talkies. And they're just down to business. And there's a lot of them. I'm not surprised by this. I would probably do something similar because it's just, you know, hey, I'm working this booth. Oh, Oh, stacking boxes. Oh, this is fun. Let's take a photo. But what I wonder is how many of the people who were attacking her on Instagram were actually at that concert buying the merchandise. And my guess is probably not a lot. My question to you guys is which EXO members merch would you buy if you could only buy one member's merch at a concert? Comments. Ooh, click the like button on this video. Thank you so much for subscribing and supporting us here at Hell You Back. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. <laughs>